Hey folks, Bo Cephas here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. So I'm going to update with a little bit of news concerning Fallout 4 and the next gen update and how it screwed everything up. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what happened to my save game that I was using to make my show? I had the automatic updates turned off on Steam, but I used Mod Organizer 2 for everything. However, I went to bed one night, it was one Saturday night, I wasn't updating anything until, you know, the update settled down because Bethesda's going to have to f fix their update. <laughs> I'm sure, I hope they're still working on it because there's a few things that still need to be fixed. But anyway, uh, I went to bed and I was still logged into Steam and even though I had automatic updates turned off, it updated anyway. So they had another update to fix. I hadn't done anything with it yet. And they had a other, another update to fix some of their stuff. So I went ahead and, and uh, updated the game and vanilla wise it runs fine. It runs you know, it'll launch. However, in my save that I was using for my show, I used over over 300 mods. I started the long process of elimination to see which mods were causing problems. I went through each one to see who updated. I updated all the mods uh, that showed that they're updated. I was still getting crashes right when the game launched so I started eliminating mods problematic mods that hadn't been updated and I got to a point where uh, when I launched the game it did actually make it through the cinematic and then after the cinematic the opening cinematic it would crash and that was only after about the first 20 mods <laughs> so I could I could have rolled back that's a process in itself so I decided to wipe everything clean and start fresh so uh, basically my show is gonna be a reboot when I get it all sorted and as far as my uh, my clothing mods my my uh, conversion mods to the fusion girl body those are fine i do not have to update those though i may do a fresh uh, update on the rest of them that i have up on nexus just to be you know into the current year 2024 i've got quite a few i did uh, my ellie's armor compendium update for her 2024 release i got that all situated and up on nexus but i got a bunch of other outfit mods that i could probably take everything i learned during during the process of learning how to do outfit conversions and redo them make them better i may do that i don't know my sim settlements 2 add-on pack uh, Nor's Commonwealth Reconstruction Project. As far as I know, I haven't had any complaints of it not working with the next gen update. Of course, it used all the scripts from Sim Settlements 2. Sim Settlements 2 being a requirement, so uh, it should it shouldn't be a problem with it working with the next gen update. But I haven't been able to work on any. Uh, new plots for it yet uh, I will be doing that too so as soon as I get the game situated and get the uh, mods in there I want to use to reboot my show uh, the plan is when I do when I'm filming the show I'm going to eliminate a lot of unnecessary traveling in the show you know in, in what I upload I probably will not be doing any commentary through it I'll just let the, let the character speak and uh, I know those shows would get pretty lengthy sometimes two and three hours but i'll keep them to an hour in length about the same time as a tv show that's my plan for it but anyway i just want to give you an update it still may be a week or two away before i can even start filming again for my fallout show and uh, uh what i may end up doing is go ahead and working on my next work on my next update for my sim settlements to add on i still have more residential plots i want to add to it uh, i still got 10 more one by one plots i want to add uh they're going to be houses uh single settler houses five single settler houses houses and five two settler houses and then i'm going to move on and do some more two by twos after i get those one by ones finished and 
I'll keep going and after I'm done with my two by twos I'm gonna do the, the interior plots I'm gonna have I don't know how many of those I'm gonna have maybe ten I don't know but they're gonna be for multiple amounts of settlers there'll be some single settler ones some two settler ones maybe some bunk bedrooms for four settlers I, I, I haven't gotten that far yet in planning and then when I'm done with those interiors I'm going to do probably just five three by threes and all, of course all the three by threes are going to be four settlers or more but anyway that's a future plan for my show and my mods like i said we broke 100 subscribers uh it's been fluctuating between 110 and 120 this last week and a half or so and i appreciate all of you be sure to like comment subscribe anything it, you know it all helps get it pushed out into the algorithm and basically for the whole the whole channel i'm just trying to make basically the best way to describe it is tv shows hour-long episodes i may be eliminating commentary and all the ones i do now the baldur's gate ones there's going to be commentary all through them all the way through august because those are already pre-filmed and i'm not going to redo them <laughs> so the baldur's gate three episodes will have commentary uh there's going to be a bunch of uh, miller blade episodes all the way up to about august that will have commentary in them final fantasy 7 rebirth's going to have a few more episodes left with some commentary in them uh before it starts with no commentary anyway take care of yourself just a little update on what's going on with the channel and i will catch you next video